Hello guys, welcome back. It's just a gamer. We will continue this playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn. We are on the way to find a shaman. I just forget, forgot where to go. Yep. I mean, you have a point, Marco, where to go. Just follow the road. So we will go and see where shamans become shamans. It's amazing how this game like showing like from the top inventions, spaceships, like everything around space amazing weapons and everything and when the end of the world come like people come back and worship gods different gods is this a settlement shaman's pet oh, it's a frozen lake oh fishing ice fishing This must be the ruin Laolai was talking about. Deep Din. Flooded too, like she said. Oh. Snap moss. Probably came from somewhere upriver. So I will have to... Follow yeah. the river, find its source. Seems simple enough. Must be the entrance to this. Good one, it's easy. coming from looks like something the old ones built well somebody wanted in nearly blew this entire ledge off just to get through the door flooding detected Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin. Is that the din? I don't know, Ellie. 
we're gonna see. Ooh. Just wanted to check myself. They start recording. Looks like a control center. What happened in here to start the intake tower malfunction? Drainage system offline. That's probably not good news. Looks like most of the facility is underwater. How did this happen? be the last Sashua people to ever see this place. Uh, yeah. Hence, you know, Zal. Haven't seen one of these since I was a little kid. There must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. Rough waters. No way I'd be able to swim. Alright, so okay, like how do we want to start this farewell thingy? Mm. We might be the last sexual people to ever see this place. <laughs> My soul is pure. Plus, you're not one of those snack moths I saw outside, are you? Are you all right? <laughs> well, you don't know how happy you just made me. <laughs> For a moment, I thought my fire was snuffed. My forge gone cold. But nope, nope. Not old Gildan. You're welcome. Uh, wait. Start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. When you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish, ringy what's-its from the wall beside the door. No luck. So I had to go with that panel with the button. Even less luck. My gentle experimentation caused the chamber to... Uh, flood a little. So I pushed the button again, perhaps a little too enthusiastically. Sparks and smoke. <laughs> now, obviously, I came here to investigate. My... Cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. And when the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. And by the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. <laughs> and thusly do we come to the present moment. You said something about an artifact? Indeed. That storage room is brimming with treasures from the old ones, but one in particular caught my eye. An intricate looking glass. I've only seen one such device before. My old mom brought one back for me from, from wherever she'd gone to that time. I remember holding it, staring into its face, and seeing myself and my mother just over my shoulder, smiling. And one of these looking glasses. It's in the storage room. Oh, yes. I'm quite sure. I peered into that dim little chamber, and there it was. I've wanted to find one for so long, I... Yes, this time I'm sure I have. Well, there's no way we're getting into that storage room without another ring. It's part of the locking mechanism that controls the door. You don't say. 
Well, that's fantastic news. Marvelous, even. You've got two hands. I've got two hands. Perfect. <laughs> my savior, my salvation. And if you like, why wouldn't you? Of course you will. My accomplice. <laughs> Together, that ring is as good as ours, and with it, the storage room and its spoils. Didn't you say you dropped the ring in the water? Well, I'll grant you that adds a heretofore undiscussed level of complexity <laughs> to the proceedings. He's interesting. So you found the button that controls the flow of water. <laughs> quite by accident. And then you broke that button. Also, quite by accident. The panel's <laughs> the only way to shut this place down, as far as I can tell. This isn't going to be easy. That storage room is filled, top to bottom. Would you be surprised to find the parts you need in there? I certainly wouldn't be. So, we need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. And I can finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay, Gildan. How are we gonna get that ring? Two sets of hands, girl, two sets of hands. Behind us lie a pair of enormous gates, but I believe the gates must be operated in tandem. Together, we can dry this place out. Guess we better get started then. I guess we better. What? I'm following you. Up ahead, girl. See the valve? Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this one. There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place. Would you mind heading across and uh, doing the honors? Where? There. Oh. Uh, Current's too strong. I can't swim against it. It's even less refreshing than it looks. The walkway's gone. Only way across is up and over. Oh. Uh, I went. So I start with a good, a good way. The other valve is just across the uh, raging <laughs> flood waters. You know, I thought I saw some kind of tunnel up there. Might provide a means to cross the gap. You know, I'm reminded of a delve I undertook out near the claim. A stone ruin, cloud tall, <laughs> lake wire. Must have been 13 levels on that monstrosity, but no walls. Great stone columns bearing the weight of the level above. Filled out with row upon row are those enormous rusted out old world parts. You know the ones where they their four wheels? And I've scraped through a hundred of them. But the only things I've ever seen inside are bird nests. You don't suppose that's what they were for, do you? What? Marvelous! You made it! Now grab that valve and give it a spin. On it. A little more now, and I should be able to get the blasted gate moving. There. You should be able to lower the gate. Huh? Right you are. Now, when I get this gate down, you'll need to turn the valve again. Ought to lock this thing in place. One gate down. Halfway through then, aren't we? To the second gate. Lead we. Why well, I have a strong feeling that he will try to do something. A ladder is a rare and special thing, girl. Can depend on it to take you exactly where you need to go and no further. Hmm. I'd wager the valves for the second sluice gate are somewhere above us. Now, how are we gonna get up there? Let me look around. Looks like I could jump across on that rickety, rusting platform. I find a way up. Blazing <laughs> forge, girl! Careful! Don't want you drowning in this ruin now, do we? From there to there.
Nice jump! <laughs> nice! What am I saying? That was stupendous! Never seen such absolute disregard for personal safety. Thanks, I think. Look out below! Now we've done this once before. Should be as easy as falling down a hole. If you'd take the valve on the other side... If it's set up the same way on this side, I should look for an access tunnel. This... This is my sort of gel. A million minute and invisible factors. My father used to say to me, uh, Gildling, he called me Gildling. Gildling, he used to say, Don't make the delve harder than it needs to be. The best delves are done, and half the time it takes a campfire to sputter out. Now, my father was a great man, but dead wrong when it came to choosing the rubric by which to judge delve well. To find yourself stuck, then unstuck. To fail, then to succeed. To get lost, <laughs> find yourself. That's what makes the devil. Uh-huh, Gildan. Okay, Gildan, turn the valve. <laughs> it's not working! Damn thing's too heavy. Glance behind me, would you? See anything big and, uh, broken? Big and broken. I mean, everything is broken here. Look for the country. Country. Looks like part of the counterweight broke off. If I can get up there, my weight might be enough to get it moving again. Uh, hang on, okay? I've got a plan. I need to get up higher. Could climb up that wreckage. That's pretty much what I do now. I know it's not here, but... I just really want to see what's here. They do. Jump straight to the counterweight from here, but I could climb higher, get above it. What the hell? Ah! 
The drop's too far, girl! Oh! <laughs> Control falling. Very clever. Going down. Oh. Low enough to jump. You can make it. Let's see another one of those mad leaps. <laughs> Got it. We're good to go. You were a sight to see. Bounding from metal rust trap to metal rust trap. <laughs> Still a bit of water, but low enough, wouldn't you say? Now then, uh, where's that ring? Good question. Well, at least I should be able to swim now. Snap maw! It's a snap maw! Very, very big snap maw! I see it, Gildan! Very big, very, very big! Just stay out of the way! Forge, forgive me. What if that snap maw swallowed that ring we're at? Just. <laughs> Double it right up! dead <laughs> marvelous so the uh, ring maybe if you pry its jaws open and reach inside I can't look what uh -huh. it's telling me to go around where I were before so he ate his ring or that ring that we need. Marble. Marvelous. Marvelous. Marble. Mm -mm -mm. You were right. This thing did swallow the ring. That's the old Gildan intuition in action. It's never led me astray. Sure, its chosen routes can be a bit hey, circuitous, shells. but shells never mind. Right to the storage room. Okay. To so the spoils. Sort of practice, right? Uh, merch. We need merch. Stickers. You're not a real band until someone vandalizes government property with your stickers. Your colleagues, I have been asked to remind you that conversations determined to be irrelevant to servitor training are discouraged. What were you saying about vandalizing government property? Are you the right way? I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait! Almost there! What's gonna happen? Something fishy. Soon I'll hold the looking glass in my hand. Just like Mum and I used to. Missing his mama. Another holographic interface. It must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. These numbers should have something to do with the position of the dials. Oh. So left, up, down. Uh. What? Um. What are you doing with your hands there, girl?
up and then right. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I thought you'd lost your mind tickling the empty air like that. Okay, let's fix the panel and shut this place down. Gildan? Everything okay? I was so sure I saw it. The looking glass. I was so sure. Hey. Right there in the window. I was... Of course. Trick of the light. Nothing at all. Uh, I'm sorry, Gildan. It I'm must sad now. To you. Oh, well. Much as any artifact of the old ones would mean to me, really. It's fine. Uh, I'm fine. Besides, what are the spoils compared to the Delve? That's why we do it, girl. <laughs> the Delve, not the treasure. <laughs> and what a Delve it was! Uh! By the great Blazing Forge, I'll never forget that. Now then, I, uh, believe we have some repairs to make. Nah. I feel dumb. Look at him as a child. Oh, that's a whole lot prettier, isn't it? <laughs> what does it mean? It means it worked. By the forge. Ha! You are a wonder. <laughs> do you hear that often? I'll hazard a guess you do. I've heard something like that once or twice. Oh, she's modest now. A master of the arts of the old ones, a delver to shame the entire claim, and she wants to be modest. Ha! It's not like I did it alone, Gildan. No. No, I suppose not. So what's next for you? On your way back to the claim? And deprive the people of Song's Edge the story of this encounter? Perish the thought! <laughs> I'll stay there a while longer. But a story is best told by all who encountered it. Come and lend a hand, won't you? <sighs> Overflow basin empty. Interior accessible. Minimal flood damage. Sounds like the basin is dried out too. Maybe I'll take a look. Uh huh, floor up, floor. Oh, I have to go back. Okay. Another adventure so soon? Whew, you're braver than me. But well, there was no question of that. <laughs> oh. Oh, I had luck. I had big luck here. She wasn't kidding about the sound. I can't see a thing. the hell are you doing? Aha, uh -huh, she's playing the instrument. You look happy to be playing again. I don't know what you did, but the water drained in the snap of a short song. What do you think of the music? 
I've never heard anything else like it. That's because there's no other place with such resonance, such intonation that rattles your ribs with its power. And of course, no one else knows these pipes like I do. I learned them by ear before I could walk, strapped to my father's back. Thank you for draining the waters, not just for myself, but for my ancestors and their songs. Please, take this as a token of our gratitude. What do you got? Oh, blue gown. Uh, inventory. Where is that? Is it in the treasure? Specialite. Here it is. Nature. Find in nature. Okay, but where can I find it? Not even here on the mountain. Not even here. And look, look how much more we have to explore. Oh. Go up, alloy, up. Ooh, so here. Here is the place where I can find those blue. No, it's not. Where I can find those blues. Blues. I'm pretty far up. The shaman's path must be around here somewhere. This must be one of the markers Naltuk told me about. Looks like each marker points to another, giving directions. Can I have those gems? I need gems. Want to buy a lot of things. What's this chime for? To help guide the way with sound? If there's more, maybe my focus can find them. Yep, focus can pick up the chimes. Should help me find my way. Another marker. Good. Wait. Back?
A chime. Not sure I saw this fork before. When you're down, 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 down. Stalkers, better be careful. If I don't have to kill them, I won't. to be careful with these stalkers but nevertheless dead end but at least there's stuff There. Up. Finally. Done with the cave. So what's next on this path? Oh, let me let me craft the potions. Just one. It needs to fill up with water before I can cross. Around the bend we go. Cross this one. Down it is. Down, then up. Ooh. There's the way up.
and fall. 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 I need to pull the rope to move this thing into position. Okay, the bridge is filling up. Okay. Now again, waiting for the bridge to come down. And jump Maybe over. Then so. again, activate. Okay. I need to go. That's for going back. Here is to go to the other side. Ooh, that's close. This shaman bat is really dangerous. Although not alloy. What the Man, hell is this? Exaggerating. There's definitely something new out here. And I don't think it's friendly. You saw the machine that's friendly? Unless you overwrite it. Overwrite it. My question is where I can find this thing? Have to override that. Very cold. I get it. Oh no. Trouble reaching that tower to override it. Well, can I throw a We're doing this, big boy. Okay then, let's see if this thing can work for me.
machine down. Now back to finding Araya. Which means I've got to climb. More. More climbing. Forget about traveling light. Or should I go up? I should be able to get up there. Hmm. Seems I need to figure it out how to get those things to tra trade with those merchants. Look at this. Look at that. Amazing. Ooh. This must be the shrine Naltuk was talking about. Guess I should take some blue gleam. Sparkles. I can see why it's worth a lot. Four of them. Nice. Oh, one. Is there more? I would like more, please. One. I can't spare the weight. Naltuk said Aurea went past the shrine, up into the mountain. I'd better take those stairs. An ancient door. Maybe Aurea's inside. Maybe not. March 10th, 2046. I just spent 16 hours in here trying to install upgrades to improve efficiency for the central processing unit. Project Firebreak is going to need the brain power. Let's just hope I'll have enough of my own. Anita stayed with me the whole time. We got a lot done, but every time she brushed by and I smelled her hair. Oh boy. I should just go to bed. This is Director of Security Blevins resending the emergency supply order. Try reading it this time, okay? You weasels don't want me calling my people in SLC. Director of Security Blevins is riding us like a petty tyrant. I can't even sneeze without triggering his control issues. Those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. Well, that did something. What am I supposed to do with these lights?
Can I interact with this? Uh huh. Oh, 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 I know, I know. These things turn, changing the flow of light. All right, let's see if the door's open. I have to learn how to talk directly in the mic and uh, how to say, like, speak louder. But I'm like, I don't want to speak louder because of I'm tripping it. I'm too loud. Then when I edit, I see that I'm not that loud. But now. up Go more up more up oh, fresh air ahead Oh, shaman found the way. Out again. Maybe I can get back inside through that structure over there. <coughs> Looks like I need to get to those stairs. Uh, I will fall from here. Oh, I, have... I didn't saw that. Oh, 
I'm not much higher to climb. Maria must be close. She has to be in here somewhere. Ninety forties. Nothing in this room. There's nothing. Oh, there's something. There. Audio. Someone hacked the menu board to display obscene messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. Is this the most advanced geological project ever undertaken or a junior high locker room? Come on, people. Will she be aggressive? I ask again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? Ah! I can't help you if you won't speak! A whisper is all I ask. To guide me. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I... I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. So, we found her. We didn't speak much. Put me in labor. This one's bigger. But I'll bet the goal's the same. Get the light back to the source. Okay. I don't like puzzles. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. And more. Have to can I from this one? Can I from this one? No. But uh, uh, I need to light all of them. Like Oh. 
So it's I cannot connect just one because there's only one beam from this center. So I need to light all of them? Question mark. That one go other way. And that one that one we go like that. That one that ooh it did something. Then with that one, we go like that, and with that, one, go like that, and one round and one. oh, auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Orea? Orea, I need to. Unauthorized transmission. Return to schedule task. No, I will not submit. Orea, the daemon is forcing Orea, Transmission terminated. You brought the spirit's voice back. You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. You seem to have a history with this voice, this spirit. She saved my life. Here. Years ago, during the war with the Karja, a raid scattered my Werak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard her voice. A wanderer, lost like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me, but I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was... hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here, in this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe, and she listened with patience, with wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. 
She never tired of me. Never judged. And we kept each other's company. Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of the blue light, that which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines, the essence of life, and in its purest form, harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world, and the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul, cut off from what it needs. Lonely, forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. The daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here, then inside Thunder's drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something evil. She named it the Daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again, until today. What kept you from the spirit? After it begs for help. I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him, I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. <laughs> yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a warrock of great hunters to defeat the daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit. Captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's Drum is dangerous more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, Aratak won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain. And he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Ha! Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Huh. You said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible. Even for an outlander. An Aratak couldn't refuse the challenge. If you were known among the Werak, Wait, uh, me challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Werak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sekuli. You help her, you'll definitely get noticed. Is there a tall neck in the area? Yes, 
near the frost figures, but it's been frozen in ice for generations. What does that have to do with anything? It'll help, trust me. Maybe even more than I thought. <sighs> if you say so. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratok's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. Okay. Um... Level 40. Ready for that. Anyway. Well guys, I believe this is a good place to stop the video. Please do like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I didn't expect that this mission will be so long. So oh wrong. In what? Treasure box. Weapons? What's that? Charge bolt. Yeah, so please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Ooh, so close to die. Uh and in the next one we will try it. to do I can't feel this one. I'm so sorry for maybe taking a little bit longer, but yeah, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.